Welcome back. A new book just came out that will definitely increase your love of baby animals, if that's something you need. You probably love them enough, and therefore, you will love this book. It's called Sad Animal Babies, and we have the author and the artist behind the book here, Brooke Barker, also married to Boaz, of course, as we just mentioned, and then we have Mustard and Ketchup, these adorable, adorable kittens from the Oregon Humane Society. We will reveal to you more of what, why they're here, but for now, they're just adorable. They're not, I wouldn't say they're sad animal babies, but they are animal babies that need a forever home, so they would be happy if you would adopt them. So Brooke, what is Sad Animal Babies about? Well, I have a first book called Sad Animal Facts, yes. which explores sad but true, but a little funny animal facts. <laughs> sad Animal Babies is my new book, which is all about baby animals. They're cuter, they're softer, but they have pretty strange and sad little lives. <laughs> So you drew all the illustrations in the book and of yeah. course wrote the whole thing. I think we have a little video. Yeah, so this is, you actually go out and observe these animals in, at zoos, in the wild, everywhere? Yeah, I can't really find every animal in the wild, but I love going to and seeing natural history museums, seeing photos, if that, that's all that's available. I just love drawing animals from different angles and finding what seems saddest. What is the hardest baby animal that you've drawn so far? Um, a Malayan taper is pretty tricky because it has a lot of patterns. It sort of <laughs> looks like a watermelon. A Malayan taper. A lot of different animals wow. look a lot different when they're babies because they need to hide when they're babies. It sounds adorable if it looks like a watermelon. It does. It is adorable. <laughs> what about the saddest animal baby that you drew? I think the saddest animal baby might be the Labors chameleon, which is a chameleon that never meets an adult. So when it's born in the spring, all the adult chameleons have died the following winter. Oh, no. They only have a seven month lifespan. So they're five months a year when there are no laborious chameleons at all. That got actually so sad. <laughs> oh no! We gotta look at the kittens! Yeah, look at Hi, the kittens ketchup again. and mustard, and you guys are cute. Okay, so we're actually gonna try to draw these kittens. I have no idea how to draw. You are clearly a professional. And then we're gonna we're gonna add some other animals that we can draw into the mix. Um, do you wanna draw mustard or ketchup? Uh, I'll take ketchup. Okay, and this one, this is mustard over here. Mm -hmm. Any tips before I before I start drawing, like how do you do this? Your Even drawings look fur. so simple, but also so great. <laughs> you just, just look at it. Inspired by the kittens. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, we're definitely gonna got some. Do you, are you going full full body? I'm doing full body, but you do. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think her ears are too far apart. I'm sorry, mustard Actually, and ketchup. They're moving a lot. Oh god. Oh god. It already looks like a chihuahua. Help. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Just switch halfway through. That's what I would do. <laughs> right. Oh, geez. Where's the whiteout? Do we have an eraser? Do, why do we use Sharpies? <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. Producer Christian's in my ear. These are Sharpies. I know they're Sharpies, but like, can we... Okay, your you drawings are really adorable. Oh, yeah. And they're... Oh gosh, wait, and then... How... <laughs> Hi, Mustard, how are you doing? Yes, hello! Oh, you're so cute. If I just make your face cute, you'll be good. How do you... How long does it take you to do each of the drawings in your in Usually your I just try and get a couple live kittens to move around and grab the nearest Sharpie and it just takes a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of my eyes is bigger than the other one on this cat. That's okay, you know, cats, little cat kittens can be unique too. Yeah, you can't really go wrong oh, with gosh. kittens this cute. Mustard's being a good model. Oh, uh, then what happens with the paws? Okay, <laughs> oh my gosh. How long did it, how long have you been training to do all this beautiful art? <laughs> really, you wouldn't know it from looking at them, but I've loved drawing animals since I was really little. So I just looked over at Brooks and realized I needed whiskers. Okay, we got yeah, whiskers. whiskers. Oh gosh, oh, yours is good, Cassie. I don't know what's happened. The feet, it's now starting to look like it was a chihuahua and now it's becoming a duck and I don't, ah, we need some like color in the tail. Okay, I don't know if I would say good. Oh, yours is so adorable. Oh, and look at the little like spot on, on Ketchup's head. Oh, that's so cute. I, I just don't know what's gonna happen with the feet. You made your feet so, so much more simple. We're just gonna like, yeah. Okay, perfect. That's another foot, and that's this another. Looks great. <laughs> you can make an adoption poster. These are. This is the cat. It's so cute. It's so. It's so cute. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Do we have? Are we drawing any more, producer Christian, or is this the only animal that I'm gonna gonna fail at drawing? Okay. We're only gonna make me draw that one. We had so many more. I'm sweating. Brooke, you're just like <laughs> calm and collected. Where can people find your book? <laughs> it's available at any bookstore in Portland. It's at Powell's, Broadway Books. Broadway Books has some window art up in the oh, window as well. Um, yes. Tender Loving Empire might have it, and then any, anywhere that sells books should have it. And are you doing a signing while you're in Portland too? There was one at Powell's Amazing. last night, so there are some leftover 
Signed copies oh there gosh. and at Broadway Books. Well, signed copies there, and then we have your beautiful signed artwork in the studio and mine that no one ever wants to look at ever again. By the way, I should mention your first book is a New York Times and Los Angeles Times bestseller, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Brooke. Follow Thank Sad you. Animal Facts on Instagram for all of the cuteness always, and then we'll be back with this cuteness. Thanks, guys. You're such good models. <laughs>